Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. Today I want to talk a little bit about crew members and in special how to choose the right crew members. So the first thing I would recommend you to do is um, take a look at the crew tree. These trees are divided into four categories. We do have command, we have combat, we do have tech and we have logistic. So depending on what you looking forward to do um, these are the skills um, of the crew members or the points of the crew members you want to focus on if you're going to build um, a crew setup for like resource gathering probably logistic will be your best friend um, if you want to build a setup for PvP or PvE, you will either go with tech or with combat. I went with combat. Why did I go with combat? So, as you know, I'm running a cruiser fleet and I'll start with increasing my cruiser HP. I probably should also add the frigate HP because, as you know from my previous videos, without frigates I will not perform very well. Next we do have HP and armor in PvE events, after this we do have warship attack and more armor in general. Um, we even get additional 3% warship range which is really really great. Um, and then we can get more attack for cruisers and frigates, what I chose here. Um, more HP, same thing there, I should probably also get the HP here. Um, then armor shield for PvP. Um, after this, I do get another attack for PvP. And here, as you see, now I start to mix it up because I started using destroyers. I went with destroyer attack HP as well as cruiser attack and HP. Last skill will give us more warship attack. So this is a total of around 530 points to get to the end. Um, for the tech tree we do have the weapons, so kinetic, missile and laser weapons. We can get additional um, spaceship building or you can increase your spaceport defense or repair. Um, we do have the same thing, spaceport defense here. We have shield or armor to choose um, and then we get warship build. We do get total warship attack, total warship HP. We do get more spaceport defense, we do get more spaceship building queue, um, warship repair speed, armor and shield. Um, and it goes on like this till at the end we get total warship HP. Um, we do get another um, weapon buff in here. So these are the two best things to go for when you're looking um, to go into a combat related setup. As you see, I want to get the 530 points, so my crew members are chosen based on this. Um, let's take a look at the crew members I choose. You will see they all have high combat um, crew property points and um, that's because I want to get there very high. Um, and that was honestly um, even the main reason. Yes, I do also have my cruiser HP attack, I do get total warship HP here, um, but I even use um, some crew members, here we have tech, so that's my first crew member where I'm not completely combat related anymore, we have a great skill with total warship attack and tech is the second um, skill tree I want to um, excel in. I do also have my destroyer um, crew member here mainly because it's also combat related. Um, as I said, my main focus is on cruisers. Um, even have frigate attack, not because I use frigates for damage, no, I, want, I needed to get these additional 23 points to get high enough. Um, cruiser attack, okay, that makes sense for me and I can even rank it up, advance it. Sure, we should do that, didn't see that before. Um, I only got these to level 15 because I know that I will swap them out later. Total Warship HP. What will I swap them out? I will look for commanders um, that are more tech related. 
So let's sort them here by rarity. Um, you see four of my legendary commanders are in my crew setup. I do have these two four captains. They are great captains. I do not use the kits at the moment. Um, the reason for this is not enough combat at the moment. Will be great later. Combat and tech can also be a nice captain with the kinetic weapons here. Um, Laura is all over the place, a lot of command. Um, I probably will not use her too much. The other kit is again command um, strong. So these were not the directions I wanted to go. And um, in the epic section, um, later I will look for crew members that are very strong in tech to replace some of my um, crew members. I really hope that we will get more crew members um, later. Camel already promised that they are working on this. Um, we all know since we have the, four flag uh, the two flagships per formation, we just need more crew members available. So the other option or the other kind of formation you are looking for, this is my formation three, let's delete formation one. Um, the other formation would be, sorry, let's clear this um, and let's switch over there. Um, you might want to have a formation to build your warships. It really does make sense. And for this, you want to have as much tech as possible. And there are a few crew members that are specifically good because they do have um, these additional um, spaceship building queue leadership. So Karen Baron is one you want to have inside there for the building speed. Um, and besides that, I would really focus a lot on the highest tech points you can get. You see the tech points down here. And um, depending how many crew members you have, very likely everything that is above 20 tech points is someone you want to get in there. And um, this will allow you to get it up as high as possible. Um, we will also find some crew members here that are probably more tech related. Um, also warship building speed is one we want to take in here um, for this kind of setup. I don't like that it always resets here. Um, we should have one more crew member with the building speed if I remember right. Might even be a green one. Oh. No, not. Um, where is it? Ah, maybe it's my captain. Did I use my captain for this? That could be that it is a captain now. And if it's a captain, you do lose this kind of skill because um, I don't see the captains here. Let's take a look at the crew overview. Ah, here we are still sorted. Yeah, I think it was Robbie. Yes, Robbie. Robbie has also warship building speed. So she's a nice captain because she gives you warship armor. Um, if you do not use her as captain, she would be a great crew member for this faster warship building setup. Um, as said before, you will probably if you if you avail, you will have more options. But if you are a free to pay player or a low spending player, very likely you will just look now for everything that is at 20 or higher. At least for me, that is usually the, the limit that I have to look for. Um, yeah, the, you could rank these up, but as this is like a secondary setup, not your main setup. I would recommend to save your level ups for crew members that you using in PvE and PvP settings. Um, it's just um, 
it's a better solution. And here we do have 16. That might be already the highest last one. Yeah. If I didn't miss anything, this is the highest we can go. So now we have a crew set up that is very strongly oriented in the tech tree. And um, what we want to do is we want to get everything that is warship building. So we get another building speed here. Um, we already have the additional 30Q leadership here, which is at the end it's one additional cruiser you can build with every building setup. So there we go for attack, upgrade to max. And we can get, now we would get additional leadership queue here, if we would have enough points. I can rank up Bruno, that would probably be the one, because I know that I'm also using him on my main crew setup. So he would be one that I would rank up to 20. That's at the moment where I try to get all my um, crew members that I use for... PvE and PvP settings. Let's see how high we can go. Or so perfect, we can get him also 220. That's a few additional points here. And at least ah, we need one more point to get an additional leadership skill here. Um, let's see, Captain Goodman. Yeah, she's two. Let's sort them all by level. Um, <laughs> that will be difficult. I could rank up Amelia, but she's not really focused on um, tech. But on the other hand, I only need one additional tech point. Um, let's see, do we get it high enough? Yes, there's one additional level. Let's see if this gave us or is a one tech point. Yes. So that's an additional 12. So this part of the leadership is already giving us 12 leadership per point, which is really nice. It is a lot. Um, so we do have now a preset up one formation that is really focused on tech and has um, also the crew members that increase building um, warships. And let's see what that means. I did already start building a little bit before I started the video, which probably was not the best thing. Um, so let's speed up these ships. Sorry, not Corium. We want to use our normal speed up. So I can build now 54 um, frigates, and it takes 18 hours. Um, before, I, let's see how much it was before. Let's switch quickly to the original <laughs> setup. That is my formation three. Yes, please. So, 54 frigates is it is now. Um, it does not decrease the building time a lot, unfortunately. So, before it was 40. So that's an increase of 14, which is around 30% more in one build. Yes, we do also get additional time, but we can see we have 14 hours, 20 minutes for 40. Let's see how much we have it speed up with the crew members that we had available. So switching back to the setting that we just made the formation. Okay, here we are. And now looking at the warship building of a total of 40 frigates. So that's important. We want to see how well we would do. So that would be saving me 30 minutes. That is not so much. Um, the main advantage of doing the setup is that you get building queues that nearly are one day. You don't really have to worry. You don't have to lock in all the time. You just lock in once. You click build and you will get a lot of warships 
after the time is over especially for events yeah. like galaxy star when you have to know when you know that like um, you have to build on the next day warships getting them already already like 18 hours before will give you additional points there if you don't want to use a lot of speed ups so the same thing if you would go for gathering um, you would do the same you would look for logistics mainly because here in logistics you do have planet output this one is only for deuterium and titanium um, you do have gather speed also same thing there um, but you also have here planet development all resources and um, if you go down you also have nickel and steel output so there's a little bit coming together um, I really do like that we have these kind of trees and that we can switch with the formations now between them this really gives us um, quite some options to play around with I honestly only use two formations um, the one for warship building and the fighting one I did not see a huge benefit of using the gathering this is as I mentioned also in some other videos before because these percentage bonuses say all add up so sure 20% 50% is a lot but if you look at your spaceport details and let's see what do we have in the gathering um, if you look at titanium gathering if you already have 200% additional and you get another 25% it is not changing so much sure it is still giving you um, higher output and if you want to optimize as much as possible you should think about doing this but um, if you're lazy like me you might want to skip this okay so hope that video helped you a little bit and gave you some insight into how to set up the crew what to look for and um, how i do it what crew members i am using as usual give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and then i see you all on the next video again